UK Sports and the PGA Tour are delighted to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Travellers' Championship is about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam in the booth and it's a hello to Henny Koyak down on the course following our featured group. Hi Luke and Rich, looking forward to following these two players again as they reignite their rivalry. I have a feeling we'll be in for some more exciting golf as these two battle it out. Yeah, big rivalry this one. Xander Shoffley, one of the most formidable opponents in the game. That was wonderfully done. And Henny, what are you seeing down there? He's got roughly 105 yards here. All right, we're going with an extra club here. A yeah, quality shot, that. And Henny, what are they looking at here? All right, down the hill here, got to be gentle. Ooh. And this putt coming up for his par. The second, a short par four playing up the hill, just 345 yards. How aggressive do you want to be? Do you want to take driver out and try and get it up to the front edge, or are you going to lay it back with a long iron? That are the two thoughts that players must face. Second shot into a minuscule green with a putt bunker on the left-hand side that could be the meanest one on the golf course. No harm, no foul there with that shot. Pretty straightforward four-footer coming up here. And this player's moving up on the leaderboard after that hole. The players will face themselves with their first legitimate test at TPC River Highlands, the par four third. Dog leg from right to left, just avoid those bunkers both right and left. And there's not a single one up there on that green. This green is fairly flat with runoffs on all sides of this screen. It's a wonderful design. Do you like the view from where you're standing, Henny? Yeah, he's got a round 125 here. Fingers crossed for a good kick to the left. Not a bad approach. Grab the putter from the caddy. You're dancing. Birdie at the last. This for another. It's tracking. Ooh, a couple of birdies on the bounce. Look who's on a roll. Two in a row there, Luke. Getting their groove on. And it's time to recap that play. I could watch this one all day. Who would have thought that would go in? At minus two, coming along nicely today. And after that good play, moving up the leaderboard. The fourth hole at TPC River Highland certainly asks for a longer shot, Rich. Danger here is leaving your tee shot out to the right in the trees and the bunker. If you hit it down the left-hand side, expect a much longer second shot. Playing this shot from about 170 yards out. Currently four shots off the pace. Going with the eight iron here. This one needs to kick left. Wow, what a shot. Already had a few birdies today. Another opportunity for another one. Let's take a look. Like the look of this one. Ah, that's frustrating. Well, this would be a good one to make. It's for par. Our current leader is enjoying a two stroke lead. The par three fifth is no snack either, particularly at the distance of 230. 
That's its only defense here, Luke. The grain is fairly flat, has a couple of bunkers up there surrounding it, but to be fair, at 230 yards, it's a pretty simple, straightforward, long par three. Terrific approach and a chance for a birdie here on the fifth. This putt about 11 feet in distance. What a great opportunity here for a look at a birdie. A bit too much pace on that one. Yeah, good putt. Well hold. Trailing by five shots after that hole. The sixth is the first of our par fives, and at 586, playing slightly downhill ridge, players should be enticed to go for this green in two. Most players in this field will be looking to knock it on in two. Tee shots want to favor the right-hand side to shorten up the hole ever so slightly. The second shot will be semi-blind, taking it over some bunkers and some mounds to a green that runs from right to left. Bunker front left and a runoff area over on the right-hand side. Shouldn't be too much of a bother for most of these players. Well, that's certainly showcasing all their talents there. That's impressive. Using the big muscles to get it home in two there. And this putt to move into the top ten. That's the right pace. This should drop. Fair effort. A spot in the top 20 awaits if they can make this part. He finds himself in a share of 13th. The par 4 7th, just under 450 yards in length, Rich. Two just accurate shots needed here. Just a straightaway drive and a straightaway second shot. We'll get it done eight days a week on this hole. The second shot, though, into a green that has two tiers on it. If you're not on the correct tier in two, you're going to face a difficult putt. Playing this shot from 120 yards. Five shots off the pace. This one's going right at the pin here. He seems to have all the wind in his sails and maximum confidence out today against Xander Shoffley. I think Xander didn't really know what he was getting himself in for after that shot. Currently at minus four overall. Gotta like it, moving up the leaderboard, never a bad thing. I really like the eighth here at TPC River Highlands, a good par three. This is a strong par three. Water shouldn't come into play as it's some 15 yards short of the green. However, there's runoff areas both right and left that could cause some issues for these players. Well, they've certainly got the swing and the groove. It's amazing to see how good this player is in full flow. And racking up their fifth birdie of the day. And a spot in the top five also with that great shot. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. The ninth is a par four, right on 400 yards, Rich. But recently, players have been a little bit more aggressive off the tee. Players are trying to take all the bunkers in the fairway out of play by taking driver and hitting it over the right-hand one. From there, players will have a very simple second shot to a green that's fairly bland, Luke. There's just not much to it. This is a great birdie opportunity. Wonderfully played. And he's down there. You got a read? Yeah, guys, he's looking at around 17 feet. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? And this one is for his path. And as we transition into the back nine, Rich, what are you seeing out there so far? Well, Luke, it's been fun watching this player duke it out with their rival, that's for sure. They're winning the rivalry thus far. Should be fun to see where these two end up at the end of the event. Looks like this one's heading safely for the fairway. <laughs> 
sitting at five under par in their round. Currently tied for fifth place. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Well, that's well played and sets up a good birdie look here at the 10th. Lovely moment here. Good opportunity to move into a tie for third. It was on a good line. Yeah, it's just about three feet away. Oh, Rich, is there anything more disappointing setting up what you think is a makeable birdie putt, but unfortunately not able to convert? Downhill par threes, Rich. Lots of fun to play, particularly when it's only a wedge. Yes, but be careful from the wind. This green is surrounded by large trees, and that wind can really swirl around this green. It's a good opportunity to make birdie, but bogeys might happen if you're not careful. And this putt to move into the top five. It's tracking. Oh, well played. And that will take him to six under. He finds himself currently tied for fifth. Well, now, things have gotten interesting. Closing the gap. Rich the 12th, the par four, measuring just over 400 yards. How do you play it? Grip it and rip it. Those fairway bunkers down the right-hand side, they are really not a big bother. So try and take those on as best you can. The further you drive it down there, that your second shot becomes so much easier as this green is perched above you. Again, another good birdie opportunity here. This should play. Pay attention, folks. That's how you play golf. And as they stand over this putt, it's for a share of third spot. That was a gallant attempt. Just three feet to the cup. He's got this for his part. He's currently sitting in sixth position. Well, birdies would certainly be on the mind of the players when they stand on the tee at the par 5 13th bridge. But there are bogeys here as well if you're not careful. Don't get careless with this tee shot. Don't avoid the water on the right and try and hit it down the left-hand side because out of bounds comes in quickly, just left of those fairway bunkers. From the fairway, you have to decide where you want to go for it or lay it up out to the right. Any shots missed out to the right will leave a delicate chip to a green that runs away from the player towards the water. Oh, I love the look of that. Couple back, Rich, and uh, had the courage to get after it. Absolutely, Luke. Trailing by two, you can tie the lead if should they make the putt. Get in the hole. Oh, so close. Just a short putt remaining here. And mark it down. That's birdie number seven on the scorecard. I will take that also into the top five now. Let's head to the 14th, Rich. A short par four, but you've got to hit your tee shot up the hill. Up the hill, dog leg from right to left, but one of the most generous fairways on this golf course, if not the most generous. Anything up to the right-hand side will open up the second shot to the green that sits well below you. Any tee shots missed over to the left, however, you could have some tree issues. You liked that, didn't you? Don't overclub when playing to a green well below your feet. It's always a smart play to club down a bit. This one heading towards the green. That's an absolute ripper. What a shot. That would be back-to-back -back birdies for this player. Yeah, they're good momentum makers, those ones. Good putt for birdie. And that will take him to eight under. Well, that was a positive hole. A little shift up the leaderboard. Well played. Well, Rich, as we approach the closing holes here at TPC River Highlands, there are some significant shots to hit, and here at 15, it's certainly one of them. The tee shot is most definitely an important shot. If you hit a little bit too far left, water scary close to the left-hand side. Out to the right is no good. 
length isn't nearly as important as how straight you can drive it. All in all, a very exciting short par four. Love this hole. Wow, Rich. That's impressive. That's exactly what I had done. Nobody wants to see somebody laying up on a par four that's drivable. Pull out the big stick. Oh, what a great stroke. Just didn't drop. Butting for birdie. And with that, he's now broken the tie. All alone at the top of the leaderboard. Three holes remaining, folks. Hang on to your hats. This is going to be a wild and woolly finish. The final par three at TPC River Highlands certainly brings a lot of elements into play. Multiple tiers on this green. If you find the right tier, you have a good Bernie opportunity. But if you hit a wayward shot, both right, left, long, or let's face it, short, you're in a bad spot. Yeah, good safe shot, this one. That should find the surface. Well, you can see why he's leading. That was a shot of high caliber. And I tell you, you just dream about days like today. Greens and regulation, spot on all day. Awesome. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. Two holes to go, Luke. I know who I like. Oh, what a wonderful play. Leading with intent. Huge tee shot there, Luke. What a display of power. Not a bad play, that one. Trying to get to 11 under with this putt. Oh, I like the look of this. Okay, steady now. Putting for par. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. Now leading by one shot. The finishing hole at TPC River Highlands has gone through a few adjustments over the last handful of years, and it's also seen a very significant moment in the history of the PGA Tour. Plenty of fantastic moments here. Tee shot goes back up the hill, over a rise, semi-blind tee shot, find the fairway, and you're going to have an excellent look at the green and a possibility of making birdie. It was the sight of the lowest ever round recorded on the PGA Tour, a 58 if you don't mind. Going with the pitching wedge here. Oh, what a shot by our leader. Another green in regulation. This is an absolute clinic. And now this to win the Travelers Championship. Short game has been especially. Now it's a tremendous performance around TPC River Highlands. The most birdies made, and they are your Travelers Championship winner. And an outstanding win for this player, capturing the Travelers Championship. Hats off to him. Well, when it comes to performances that they'll remember, that certainly has to be one of them. What a brilliant play today. A match for the books, Luke. I'm just happy that I got to witness that and see that. What a rivalry it was in the lead up to this epic match. And they took down the hero. They come out on top of not just the rivalry, but also the event. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. I'm Luke Elvey, and on behalf of Rich Beam, plus all the hard-working folks at HB Studios, it's good night for now.